Today on Florida Sport Fishing. Small boat, big fish. Hooked up on a sail from the paddleboard. Sweet. Woo! Put him on a stinger rig. It's hooked up here on the skiff. Uh oh, uh oh, double, double header. Got another one on. Got two on here. Two on. Watching Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Another one on, another one on. Oh! Oh, hook it up, hook it up. Whoa, nice. One in the boat. What an absolutely awesome experience. We've got a perfectly rigged lure, and we're going fishing. We're out here on our skiff today. It's an absolutely flat, calm day, and we decided to come out on the paddleboard as well. So Steve's letting out a bait, about 20 feet of water here. And even though it's shallow, we're gonna paddle out. We're gonna paddle and work our way out to 50, 60, 70, ultimately over 100 feet deep. And I'm gonna fish two baits here. I'm gonna slow troll two gogs. I'm gonna fish one way, way back, and I'm gonna fish one closer to the boat to avoid them getting tangled. You know, don't think that you need to be out there in 80, 180, 280 feet to score to catch big fish, because you don't. Those fish are cruising up and down the beach here, picking off whatever they can find. Right now we're up off of, uh, just north of Boca. Nice, nice, good nice. Hooked up on a sail from the paddleboard. Sweet. Woof. They do thick. I forgot it's not a 50 pounder. We are hooked up on a sailfish off the paddleboard. This is the way to do it. Told you it can happen. You just gotta stick with it, be persistent, keep fishing your baits in the right place. He's gonna turn me around. Look at this. There you go. Just drifting along here in about a hundred feet, fishing a couple of goggle eyes. The thing is towing me around like no tomorrow. Towing me around. Yep. That's why he jumped at first to try to shake that hook and now he's all tired. So you can come out here under the right conditions, well prepared, and catch big fish from small boats. Oh yeah, can't beat that. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Ghost. Boat security, monitoring, and tracking you can count on. Mr. Ice Machine. Sales, service, and parts for every ice machine. Valley Hood Lures, jets, feathers, and chuggers sold rigged and ready to catch fish. Pelagic Gear, official provider of Florida sport fishing apparel. Fishing Pursuits, visit fishingpursuits.com and go fish the planet. Are you ready to get hooked up? Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, your number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics, and techniques for inshore and offshore. Only $30 for three years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com. Enter promo code TV and receive a free shirt and official decal with paid subscription. Sailfish on a paddleboard. All right, I might get a chance to leader him here. There you go, get your balance. Always got to try and keep a low center of gravity. You'll definitely get bucked off this thing. Careful, he might not be done yet. He's going under the board. Yep, he's going under. Notice there, Steve just backed off on the drag real quick. Popped it in the free spool, I should say. You got to be on it. You got to be paying attention. Woo, woo. Nice, dude. How's he doing? He's all right. He's, yeah? I think I can let him go. He'll swim right away. So just hold him by the tail right there. I got him. He's, he's getting his, his energy back. I think we should let him go. All 
right. That was nice. You know, heading offshore in a small boat is certainly possible. Stay with us for our safe boating section as we take a close look at all of the necessary equipment required to head offshore in a flat skiff, kayak, or even a paddleboard. Heading offshore in a small boat is certainly feasible, regardless if it's a flat skiff, a kayak, or even a paddleboard. But there's a couple of things that you really need to take into consideration before you head out. For starters, pick your days wisely. The weather can turn on you that fast and it can go from flat calm to really nasty really quick. So make sure that you choose a day that's really gonna be flat calm. You'll have a great time. Next is safety. Safety has to be your number one priority personal flotation devices, may it be a uh, standard life jacket or an inflatable life jacket is really, really important. This small piece of equipment can save your life in the event of an emergency. Next is communication. You've got to be able to communicate in the event that you need to get a hold of somebody. Cell phones are great, but a cell phone may not work off the beach. A handheld waterproof VHF is ideal for small boats that are heading off the beach. If you're in a flat skiff or a bay boat, I don't need to tell you, you have to have a fire extinguisher handy. You never know what may happen. Signaling devices, a mirror, whistle, a variety of flares, day signals, night signals. You need all of this equipment to stay safe. But I'll tell you what, if you're properly prepared, if you've got all of the required safety gear, you can head offshore and catch big fish safely from a small boat. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Sea Sucker. Mount anything, anywhere with no tools and no holes. Saltwater Assassin Lures. Soft plastic go-to baits for every fish in every venue. New Ice. Maximize cooler performance with New Ice eco-friendly freezer packs. Skeleton Fish. Wearable art. Select your trophy and receive free shipping at skeletonfish.com. Crystal Reels. Power and versatility. Setting the standard with all-in-one electric fishing reels. Tired of outrageous markups? Stingray Fishing Outfitters beats all advertised prices with specials on the finest tournament winning tackle, accessories, and outdoor apparel. Operated by knowledgeable anglers with everything you need for freshwater and saltwater fishing under one roof, ready for immediate delivery. Save big. Shop where the pros shop. Shop at stingraytackle.com. Now I'm about to put a new haywire twist with my, my rig. That sailfish chafed up my leader, definitely kinked up my wire. So boat boards are made up in Destin and um, they come out right from the factory pretty rigged. It's got this rod holder leaning post on it and it also comes with this uh, 35 quart Yeti cooler. And from there what I did is I basically just took one of those Scotty rod holders and that's this rod holder you see out on an angle kind of gives me separation if I want to fish too since the, the stock rod holders you know kind of come out the same direction and from there I have a battle wagon bucket which has a really nice rope handle out of nowhere it fits perfectly right over the rod holders so it locks down my bait and that bait well I got a little aerator and that's it I can hold about a dozen baits all day you really just got to be organized and you got to have everything within easy reach because you know, it might look easy, but you could fall over at any time. And, and just two weeks ago when I was fishing out here with one of my buddies, I, I flipped. I had too much bait, too much water, and I lost my rod in about 100 feet of water. Had to paddle back in by myself. Nice lively goggle eye. Ready to fish again. Sick! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Woo! That was sick. He came right up, had a sail out, circled it like four times. Got another sail on here. Towing Steve around. This thing's gonna pull me out to 400 feet. Awesome. Today's a good day for sails with that northwest winds. Today's the day. Dude, he is like dragging you offshore. Dragging me offshore is right. Sailfish paddleboard style, baby. I saw that telltale black trash bag right there. 
circling my bait. How is it fighting that thing from a paddleboard, dude? You got to definitely keep your center of gravity low. <laughs> and if you turn around to look at something else, you lose your focus, you're going in for sure. Dude, we saw that edge. We were in there like 80 foot, 85 foot. Saw that edge, worked our way out there. As soon as you broke that color change, you were on. It's a different fight because in a boat, you know, he's fighting that momentum of that boat you're dragging around. Now he's dragging me around. All right, yeah. It's a whole different feeling. I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot longer. Oh yeah. I mean, he screamed out 200 yards in a second. Again, well prepared, out here on a paddle board, and you're catching sailfish. Certainly you can get into back country and do a lot of shallow water fishing, but if the conditions are right, and if you've got your safety gear, if you've got the right equipment. Just make sure you don't drop your paddle. That's right, there's no limits to what you can catch. Dude, he is just dragging you out. We're in 150 at this point. You always want to try and keep the fish off the bow, too, on the paddle boards. If, if you get the fish coming off diagonal, that's a good way to get dunked right there. Good way to get dunked if you don't have that fish off the bow. Right here, you know, he runs out, tips you over, you're done. He's coming up a little bit. I'm starting to gain some ground on him. For a while there, he was just digging deep in a stalemate, but it seems to be coming up a little bit. Dude, if you knock me in the water. I'm not gonna knock you in the water. You owe me lunch for a week. <laughs> 165 foot. You know, we started in 80, we're in 165. He's just swimming and I'm just kind of along You're for the ride. You're just holding on for the ride, dude. Exactly. Dude, so what happens if you hook one and it drags you out to 500 feet? Better have a CETO membership. Yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> 170. He's not done yet. No, he's not. I'm about done though. <laughs> Good lord. Come on. Talk about a man versus fish battle. This is, this is it right here. And if you're not prepared, you have no chance on no a paddleboard. No way, board. dude. If you don't have the right gear, the right safety equipment, Experience. the right tackle, I mean, exactly. You, the balance is alone is enough. 200 feet. He just saw my boat. <laughs> <laughs> I see him right there. Now he wants to go left. I'm going left too. Yeah, you don't have much choice. Wherever he wants to go is exactly where you're going. Looks like he's hooked right in the mouth. 190. Next time he's coming up, he's good. I got him. Nice, nice fish. There's the leader. Yep, there he goes. That's an official release right there. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. When it comes to offshore fishing, big boat or small, proper tackle selection is essential for successful days on the water. Rods and reels must be adequately matched and always loaded with the appropriate fresh monofilament. There's no reason to pack a 20 pound class fishing reel with 50 pound mono, and it certainly doesn't make sense to top off a 50 pound class trolling reel with 20 pound line. We fish Daiwa reels exclusively, and all are well-maintained, well-lubed, and feature a silky smooth drag system, something that is absolutely essential for pelagic fish that are notorious for long, blistering runs. All of our Chaos rods are wrapped on composite blanks, combining fiberglass and graphite for both strength and sensitivity. Regardless of what tackle you choose to fish, we recommend you regularly inspect guides for unwanted nicks and ensure reel seats are in perfect working order. Don't allow tackle failure to enter the equation. The class of gear you choose to fish should be matched to your target species, as you don't want to find yourself undergunned in a heated battle. On the flip side, tackle that is too light may do more harm than good by exhausting game fish intended for release. When fishing offshore from a kayak or paddleboard, a shorter six foot to seven foot outfit will be more manageable and provide the necessary leverage to beat big fish. Conversely, anglers headed off the beach in a skiff or bay boat may opt to carry at least one eight-foot spinner for extra castability. If at all possible, carry a variety of equipment, and regardless if you have two or ten rods, make sure every outfit is rigged and ready before you hit the water. 
By following these simple guidelines and mastering the fundamentals required to achieve consistent angling success, your catch ratio will soar. Rigging Station, brought to you by Diamond Fishing Products, the most reliable monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. Florida Sport Fishing is proudly presented by Daiwa Reels, advancing the sport of fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rodan, precision GPS guided trolling motors. Fortress Marine Anchors, stronger, faster, lighter. Closed captioning provided by Boat Insurance Florida. Save 50%. Dana ground the fish is done now. Tired. This is gonna be Steve's chance to boat this fish. We've already got the official release. Touch the leader. Now we just wanna cut that leader as close as possible to the fish. There we go. He was just wrapped. He's hooked in the mouth. He was just wrapped, and I just freed him. So now he's perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Woo! Yeah, That's baby. exciting right there. That's it right there. Come on. I'll let you go if you give up. Look at him, dude. Nice. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a giant sailfish right there. Nice, dude. That is a pig. That's amazing right there. You can come off a mile from the beach and catch a sailfish on a paddleboard. Oh, he's all gold and lit up. Look at the spots on him. Beautiful fish. Dude, that is sick. That's it, baby. Success right there. There he goes. Oh, yeah. So we only got a couple of baits left. I'm going to throw one of my last gogs out there. Hopefully, this guy will produce. Come on, Come on big fella. There we go. It's OK putting him on a stinger rig for potentially a king mackerel, maybe a wahoo. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's gonna be okay. Go find me somebody. Just hooked up here on the skiff. Uh-oh, uh-oh, double, double header. Got another one on, got two on here. Okay, and this is really gonna be tricky. This one's still on, yep, and that one's on. We've got that fish going this way. We've got this fish straight out behind the boat here. And this is really tricky when you're fishing alone and you got two fish on. And I'm also gonna try and control the boat to keep these fish separated. I'm trying to keep them apart here. And the rod holder, tighten up on this one. Back off on this drag a little, get that fish a little bit out away from the boat. Two on, baby! It's gonna be a workout though. Small boat, big fish. You can do this. This is a big, big fish. We got Steve on the paddle board. I wanna focus on this fish right here. We're gonna hand him this one. There we go. All right, he's coming up toward the surface. Trying to drive the boat. Keep an eye on Steve. Fight this big fish. A double hookup, 80 foot, slow trolling gogs, pair of gogs, both of them, boom, get crushed. Driving the boat, fighting the fish. Driving the boat, fighting the fish. Driving the boat, fighting the fish. Trying to gain on them. Got a Daiwa Saltiste high speed reel, 6.4 to 1, which is really, really awesome in these situations because I can gain a lot of line really, really quickly. That's the kiss of death. Slack line in the water when you've got a hooked fish. Pfft. Adios amigos. Can spit those hooks in one second. And look, I mean, I'm applying pressure, but not too much. You know, this is when fish are lost. He's, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. I've got a fairly tight drag. Not too tight. He may be hooked on that stinger rig, and I don't want to pull a hook. Look, he's still going. Everything I just gained, that fish is taken back right there. 
That fish is taken back. Whoa, whoa. We had a slow morning. We didn't give up. The signs were here. A color change formed right in front of us and boom, it was on. Released a couple of sails. Just hooked a double on the skiff here. Last couple of baits. I mean, what's gonna clobber a gog in 80 feet off of Boynton? Oh, I see it way out in the distance there, I see it. There it is, there it is, there it is. See it on top? That's a big jack. Looks like a monster Jack Creval. Holy cow. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, baby. That thing kicked my butt. You kicked my butt. Get yourself some of that right there, right there, right there. Woo! <laughs> These are giant Creval's, right? Giant, dude. <laughs> These things are just killing machines. They just swim through the water and they eat everything, everything they can possibly catch. They're just, look at those broad shoulders, super, super strong. They've got a fork tail for speed, so they're super fast. Whoa, exactly, those pec fins. They use those as not only like wings, but they steer with these. Along with all of their finlets, you gave me a great fight. I know you're a hardy fish and I'm gonna let you go right now. Small boats, big fish. Big battles. Oh, these jacks are so strong. Got a couple of sails. We're gonna let these big, big crevals go. Absolutely kicked our butts. Get out of here, you. Oh. And that wraps up another episode of Florida Sport Fishing. Wow. We'll see you next week. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.